Hey guys, we're back here. Ask Fritz. <laughs> I've been asked, how do I check to see if my generator or alternator on my motorcycle is charging? We're going to do alternators in the next video. First, we're going to do generators and show how to check to see if it's charging or not. We're going to go right to this. This is a generator motor here. The generator is located in the front of the motor there. There's a uh, let's see at the top is field and the lower one is armature so what happens here between the generator and the regulator the generator puts out about 14 volts on the armature side you have a regulator this has got a uh, uh, electronic regulator on it a lot of them have a mechanical regulator especially this older year would have a mechanical one and what it does is it regulates the field ground the armature will put out 14 volts and the more you ground it the more voltage goes the battery so that's what the regulator does it just volt it just regulates the ground on the field so we're going to check this first we'll check the battery i have uh this is just a regular voltmeter um hook it up to the battery and see what it's putting out okay 11.6 11.7 11 11.6 that's pretty normal for a battery that's been sitting for a while you should get more like 12 volts now when you start the motor and this doesn't change doesn't go up then you got a charging problem um, it might even go down so we're going to fire it up and have a look okay we're back motor is running. Now we're showing 12 volts. I'm going to rev the motor up just a little bit. Okay, there, you see we're getting, we're getting a good 12, 8, almost 14 volts on there. So this charging system is working correctly. If it was not working correctly, you would only see the same uh, 11 volts. So this charging system is working. I'm going to show you one way. If, if the charging system was not working, I'm going to show you how to check it. We can check the generator and we can check the regulator. Okay, we're back. Now, you may not have one of these. This is really old school. It's an amp meter. It doesn't measure volts. It measures amperage. So what it's going to do, it's going to tell us how many amps are coming from our generator. We've hooked the gauge up to the armature post on one side. And then on the field side, we are grounding the field side. So by grounding it, we're going to get the maximum amount of charge from the generator so we'll fire this thing up and uh, see what we're going to get um, out of the generator so now we're testing the generator okay we got the motor running and we're hooked up to the radiator you can see we're getting oh 10 10 amps that's plenty so the generator is definitely working okay on this motor. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be showing anything on the gauge. Okay guys, we tested the, um, the generator and the alternator on the bike and it was working perfectly. But if you don't have that fancy um, amp meter like I had, that's old school stuff. They're hard to find. You could probably build one. I'm going to show you how to bench test the generator to see if it's putting voltage out it's not very hard at all all you need is a 12 volt battery or a 12 volt uh, um, battery charger which is what I'm going to use right here so I'm going to hook ground up to the base and I'm just going to touch hope you can see this if I touch the armature side the generator will spin it's trying to spin so I'm gonna I'm gonna rock it over to the field I give it a little jolt there to the field now you can see the generator is spinning like a motor 
they call this motoring. Now watch when I touch the field again, just for a second, it speeds up. But this, this generator is working perfectly, and that's how you would test it on the bench if you can't, don't have the meter to, to uh, check it on the motorcycle. So if it's motoring, and it, it should motor in the opposite direction that the bike, the, the motor will turn it. The motor will turn this thing in a counterclockwise. It's turning clockwise when it's motoring. So this generator is working perfect. 90% of the time I've found that what goes wrong with these generators is the armature. The armature usually fails. And I'll show you how to test the armature real quick. You can usually, if there's a burnt mark, or a broken wire you might be able to see that visually but I have this meter here it's just an ohm meter I have it on ohms so the needle goes all the way up if there's a dead short okay you can use any ohm meter that you have if you hook the ohm meter to the base of the armature like so and then touch the cob there shouldn't be any resistance at all all the way around the cob you see that the needle on my gauge is not coming up. If if there was a short in in the cob, the the needle would come up like that. You'd see the needle jump all the way up. This is a, a new armature, so there's da no shorts in it. That's a good one. Oh, I got something hanging off there. <laughs> okay, so that that's how you check your generator. If it motors, you're fine. Your regulator, there's ways of checking the regulator also. Um, we've got two different ones here. We've got the, this is what was on the motorcycle. It's electronic regulator. These need to be polarized when you put these on. Um, you polarize it by touching positive to the armature just for a second. Just, just flash it for a second. You don't want to hold it on there too long because you can burn up the components in the regulator. Um, same with the mechanical one. From battery to the armature, just flash it for a second. That polarizes it. What it does is it, it tells the generator and the regulator what you want it to do, what direction you want it to go. You should only have to polarize it once, and from then on, it'll work just fine. So there you go, guys. That's how... You um, check your generator to see if it's charging. I hope that works out for you. If you have any questions, well, give Fritz a call at 530-694-2521. That's our shop number. Good luck. All right, so now we've checked the generator. Now we're going to take a look at the regulator real quick. The electronic regulators. These things are pretty cheap. They're like 50 bucks. If I have any doubts about the regulator, I just replace it. I don't, I don't even mess with it. But you can test it um, just with a simple ohmmeter. Put it on ohms. And you'll have to ground to the base. And by the way, if the regulator is not grounded on the motorcycle, it will not charge. So make sure that it's the, when it's bolted down that you get a good ground if it's not grounded like I say it will not work so with the I've got ground on the regulator base I'm going to touch to the positive lead and we see the needle coming up just halfway it's only like 5 ohms and that's a good sign now I'm going to switch the wires I'm going to go positive to the ground and we should get nothing the the diode should be open so there's nothing so the needles not lifting up that's a good sign so this is probably working you can also check the diodes on armature and field um, I'm grounded with the positive and you'll see the needle comes up just slightly just slightly comes up okay we'll switch it around put ground on the base and it should it probably go up a little farther so here's field oh yeah it goes all the way up 
and then armature about halfway the needle goes so this is a good regulator we know we we saw it on the motorcycle working and we've just tested it with the ohm meter and uh, everything's working there okay there you go tested the regulator tested the generator and if you have any questions just give me a call ask Fritz 530-694-2521